sleeping Godzilla underneath Yellowstone that if it erupts in a maximum eruption called Category 8, it could literally tear the guts out of the United States of America. In a shocking announcement, the Yellowstone system has just revealed a significant increase in the size of its massive dome-shaped uplift. This startling development prompts urgent questions about the potential consequences for one of the world's most renowned geological wonders. As the phenomena in Yellowstone intensify, how will it affect the delicate balance of our planet? Could this be a sign of an impending catastrophic event, not only reshaping the landscape, but also altering the very fabric of our environment? Join us as we explore the recent alert from the Yellowstone system, highlighting the growing size of the dome-shaped uplift. Yellowstone National Park is a remarkable natural wonder, puzzling geologists with its vast expanse of 2.2 million acres and hosting one of the world's most astonishing volcanic systems. For millions of years, underground geological forces have been at play, occasionally showcasing their magnificence. Monitored by the United States Geological Survey, the Yellowstone supervolcano, though seemingly dormant, poses global disruption potential if it were to awaken. Surprisingly, it has been more than 64,000 years since its last super eruption, leaving behind massive calderas or volcanic craters and domes as evidence of past events. The focal point of our exploration is the Yellowstone Caldera, a significant depression formed during the last of three super eruptions that occurred over the past 2.1 million years. These eruptions, shaping not only the park but the entire region, remain a mystery to geologists. The most recent eruption, approximately 631,000 years ago, ejected an astounding 239.93 cubic miles of material, impacting North America with ash and altering global climate patterns. Now let's delve into the resurgent domes, particularly the Sour Creek Dome and the Mallard Lake Dome. These massive features, each over 6.214 miles in width, and rising hundreds of meters above the caldera floor resulted from the refilling of the magma chamber after the last super eruption. The Sour Creek Dome, with numerous faults on its surface, represents a giant mound that ceased growing, while the Mallard Lake Dome experienced a resurgence about 170,000 years ago, adding a new layer of rock after a significant eruption. These resurgent domes are more than geological wonders. They serve as key indicators of Yellowstone's geothermal activity and potential for future volcanic events. The recent discovery of a dome-shaped uplift within the Yellowstone volcano system brought to light by Dr. Robert Christensen and the University of Utah's Robert Smith adds a new layer to our understanding. Observations of changes in water levels at Yellowstone Lake indicated a tilting of the lake basin, signaling significant geological shifts beneath the surface. This dome-shaped uplift, resembling a rise of the ground, suggests forces pushing up from below, possibly magma or the park's hydrothermal system. Advanced technologies such as GPS and INSAR enable scientists to monitor these subtle ground movements, providing insight into the evolving magmatic system below Yellowstone. The Earth's restless activity beneath Yellowstone's calm exterior continues to unfold, inviting us to unravel the mysteries hidden beneath the park's serene surface. In the early days of exploring Earth's shape and variations, scientists turned to geodesy as a crucial tool. Geodesy, often considered the detective branch of Earth science, focuses on understanding the planet's form. The primary method employed by geodesists was a meticulous technique called leveling. Using a surveying instrument called a level and graduated staff, geodesists measured the rise and fall of the ground by capturing elevation differences between benchmarks. This process created a detailed topographic map illustrating how the ground behaved over time. By repeating these measurements across Yellowstone National Park, scientists could track subtle movements beneath the surface, 
essentially connecting the dots to comprehend larger patterns of ground deformation. The inaugural leveling survey in Yellowstone in 1923, with over 500 benchmarks, left an enduring legacy. Subsequent surveys, prompted by the 1975 Yellowstone Park earthquake, revealed a significant uplift at the heart of the caldera, indicating the ground's swelling at a remarkable average rate of 1.4 centimeters per year since 1923. This substantial uplift, not solely a result of the earthquake, was particularly pronounced between two key areas known as the Mallard Lake and Sour Creek Resurgent Domes. From 1983 to 1985, the ground experienced an uplift, but in 1985, an earthquake swarm triggered subsidence, causing the ground to sink. Further perplexing behavior emerged in 1995 when some parts of the caldera floor rose while others descended, with unprecedented rates of rise in a new zone. Amidst this geological turmoil, scientists observed a troubling connection between ground movements and earthquake swarms, indicating a larger, interconnected pattern. These fluctuations mirrored deep forces at work beneath, hinting at the immense power within Yellowstone. The ever-changing surface of the caldera serves as a dynamic narrative of the restless giant beneath Yellowstone's serena exterior, offering glimpses into ongoing geological transformations. In a surprising twist, guides near the hidden falls in Grand Teton National Park stumbled upon a massive crack, approximately 100 feet high and over 300 feet long, seemingly appearing overnight. This dramatic event, known as the Hidden Falls Fissure, raised concerns among scientists and the public. While the Teton area is not directly above Yellowstone's magma chambers, it is closely connected to the larger Yellowstone system. The crack, a product of ongoing tectonic activity, signifies the dynamic nature of the Earth's crust, reinforcing the unpredictability of nature in a region renowned for its geological wonders. The looming possibility of a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption adds to these concerns. The last eruption occurred around 630,000 years ago, but the question is not if it will erupt again but when. The potential consequences of such an eruption are catastrophic, including massive ashfall, dangerous gases like sulfur dioxide leading to acid rain, and the onset of a volcanic winter. The implications go beyond inconvenience, affecting infrastructure, water sources, ecosystems, and human health. The unpredictability of a Yellowstone eruption adds a gripping element of suspense to this geological tale raising questions about our ability to respond effectively in the face of such a catastrophe. The ongoing geological activity beneath Yellowstone's serene surface serves as a constant reminder of the powerful forces at play in our dynamic planet. Yellowstone's geological history is a captivating journey through time, shaped by spectacular volcanic eruptions. The first major eruption, the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff, occurred around 2.1 million years ago, setting the stage for larger super-eruptions that followed. Despite being overshadowed by later events, it significantly influenced Yellowstone's geological wonders. Around 1.3 million years ago, Yellowstone experienced smaller eruptions, like the Mesa Falls Tuff eruption, contributing to the evolution of the Yellowstone caldera. The relentless forces beneath the Earth's surface gradually shaped the landscape leading to the creation of one of the world's most iconic national parks. The most recent significant eruption, the Lava Creek Tuff, occurred approximately 640,000 years ago and was a super-eruption, releasing an extraordinary volume of volcanic material. To illustrate its scale, it was about 1,000 times larger than the notable 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. The aftermath of the Lava Creek Tuff eruption resulted in the geological marvel of the Yellowstone Caldera, a massive 30-mile-wide crater formed by the collapse of the volcanic structure. Despite its size, the caldera is not always visible, hidden beneath forests, geothermal features, and Yellowstone Lake. It stands as a silent testament to the massive forces that once reshaped the region. Following the super-eruption, Yellowstone experienced a shift in geological dynamics. 
while subsequent events were less significant in scale, numerous smaller eruptions contributed to the ever-evolving landscape. However, none matched the magnitude of the super-eruption that defined Yellowstone's geological history. These historical volcanic eruptions in Yellowstone were not only large in scale, but also unleashed various volcanic phenomena. The flowing lava filled the caldera, creating layers of molten rock that slowly cooled and solidified. Massive ash clouds and pyroclastic materials accompanied these flows, altering the region's topography significantly. The impact of these eruptions was profound, transforming the rugged terrain into a more uniform and expansive surface. Erosion and natural processes over time sculpted valleys, canyons, and other geological features that define Yellowstone today. The hydrothermal system in Yellowstone featuring geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles owes its existence to the heat from cooling lava. Exploring the journey of magma from the Earth's mantle, we delve into its pivotal role after the massive eruption of the Yellowstone caldera. The emptied magma chamber gradually refilled due to Earth's core heat and geological processes. As magma rises beneath the caldera, it exerts upward pressure on the rock above, creating a gradual uplift, not an explosive release. Sour Creek and Mallard Lake domes, weakened zones from past volcanic activity, become focal points for this upward force, forming resurgent domes. The mystery of why magma doesn't always result in an eruption lies in its composition and the surrounding rock. In Yellowstone, the often rhyolitic magma is highly viscous, flowing slowly and trapping gases. This viscosity can lead to explosive eruptions when magma pressure becomes too great. However, if the magma finds a way to release pressure gradually, such as lifting the ground above it, it may not erupt, a controlled release valve preventing a volcanic explosion. The rock above the magma chamber also plays a crucial role. If it's strong and flexible enough to bend without breaking, it can form a dome rather than allowing an eruption. This delicate dance between magma properties and rock resilience determines whether we get a peaceful dome uplift or a fiery volcanic eruption. It's nature's way of maintaining a balance beneath the Earth's surface, keeping us on our toes. The relationship between volcanic activity and dome uplift is complex. Rising domes signal magmatic activity beneath the Earth's surface, acting like nature's flag indicating the volcanic system is in action. This uplift can trigger seismic activity, reshape the hydrothermal system, and create new pathways for water and gases. On the flip side, uplift can act as a safety valve, providing a gradual release of magma pressure and potentially preventing explosive volcanic activity. Monitoring the rate and extent of this uplift becomes crucial, akin to keeping a close eye on the Earth's vital signs. By doing so, scientists can piece together the complex puzzle of Yellowstone's volcanic activity, understanding its current state and predicting future behavior, thus enabling a better grasp of the risks associated with this dynamic natural phenomenon. As the Earth's geological choreography unfolds, our task is to observe and understand the dance beneath our feet, revealing the mysteries of Yellowstone. So spacers, are you worried about the recent developments at Yellowstone? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you for staying tuned and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for spacing out with us and see you next video.